Hey, and welcome back to the channel. Um, I haven't, it's been a minute since I did some uh, Ionic View uh, stuff, but um, today I'm kind of testing out the um, two things. I'm testing out modals and I'm testing out the date time framework. Uh, I will release all the source code for this so you can kind of play with it yourself. What I've really just done is take in the documentation so if we look here, let me drag this onto the page. If we look here at the ion date time picker and they have this kind of sample code, where did it go? Let me scroll around here and they have the sample code. Usually the sample code gets you like 90% of the way there. I wanted to kind of drop it all into an application, really kind of play with it. So that's what I've done. So this is the date time. And then what I've done with the modal, let's go down to the modal. With the modal, it's really just been working with this, um, this what do they call it, bottom drawer, or bottom whatever. Yeah, bottom sheet. Uh, that's the one that I'm actually spent my, where is it? Why can't I find this damn thing? Well, um, the specific one I'm working on is the one where you're able to set the breakpoints on where it shows up. So what I've done is I have this application running, and just to kind of show how it works on device, and how it works in a web browser. I have it running in both scenarios. I'm seeing some interesting things. So for example, when I pop my modal here, I'm not seeing the overlay on the back versus when I pop it here, you can see the gray outline in the back, but we'll get all, to all that later. Uh, but for now, please make sure that you like and subscribe and give me some suggestions for additional video content that you might like to see. All right, let's kind of get to the code. All right, um, I'm not gonna go through the process of typing everything up. I have have this application written. I'm gonna walk through each scenario and then just kind of explain to you what we have going on. And we'll start here with the, um, with the web version. So where's the best place? Let's, actually, let's go through one scenario at a time. So this first one here is we have this date time modal that pops up. We have a uh, calendar for the date and then we have the time specified below here. I believe in this first example, which I've kind of I've kind of broken these up so that you can see them. So in this first example, um, we are using custom buttons down here for the save and the reset. So let's kind of just walk through what's going on here. Um, so first, let's talk about how the modal set up. Um, so we have our basic modal on the outside. I only have one breakpoint. That's where when it slides up, how far up I want it to slide. And so that's what this initial breakpoint is. This trigger modal is a, is a new way to kind of uh, pop the modals. So you don't have to use your own ref to set is open is true and is open to false. You just set the trigger and then you identify the, this is the ID of the button that's triggering it. So if we go back up, you can see where's my buttons. This is my date time modal. There's my ID modal. And so when I click that, it will trigger the opening of this modal. And then it will slide up to this breakpoint, which is 0.8. I think is that, that's like 80% of the uh, view, the uh, or the vertical view. Then what I've done is, because as you see, I wanted the stuff to show in the background. I've set the background to transparent for the modal, and I've set my um, ion content class, the content that's holding the date time control. I've set that background to transparent also. And then I've kind of spread this thing out and kind of estimated a height to kind of get it to show up in the middle of the screen like it has here. The other interesting thing is this reference that I've set to this control. And when you're using these custom buttons, you need the reference, and I'll show you why. And then down here, I'm using a slot for the buttons, and I'm identifying my two buttons that I have, my save and my reset button. So that's what you have here. The reason why you need this reference is when you're using the custom button slot, you're required to, let's go down to the functions here, Scroll down. So here's where I define my reference up top. Um, when you're using these custom buttons, you're required to actually call the underlying function for confirm and for reset. And you need the reference to give you access to the appropriate uh, control or component to call the uh, reset on and the confirm on. Um, 
since I have multiple modals, that's why I'm passing in the ref value so that I can make sure I'm acting on the correct uh, reference when I make the call. So that's what's going on here. The other thing that I've observed is that you only get the change event, which is what we're using up here to kind of save the data, only on confirmation. Um, so you don't get a change event fired on reset or on close or anything like that. You only get it on confirmation. So to kind of walk through this, um, I am here in my calendar and I can select a date and then I can modify my time here. I'm just, I'm just using my arrow buttons and I can select AM or PM and then on save I get my date back. This is the raw date that comes back and I'm just doing a two local string here. Um, so let's go up to the UI and see what I'm doing with that. So here in this section uh, above the modals, it's kind of where I'm rendering the result and then the result with the um, to local string. And so that's what you're getting for the date time modal that pops up as a modal. Once again, this pops up as a modal in the middle of the screen. So that's the first one. The next one I'm using the bottom sheet functionality. And you can see how it just kind of slides up from the bottom. Um, the Once again, you get your calendar um, that you can manipulate here. Oh, that was interesting. I did not expect that behavior. Oh, interesting. So now I've selected my month, but when I click my save, it's closing it and just changing the month. I didn't expect that to happen. Um, so how do I scroll through to different, let's try this. How do I scroll through to change the month and the date? Hmm. Maybe someone else knows they can tell me because like if I want to go ahead and I want to pick like let's say I want to pick December 21st this is just letting me pick the month oh there you go you click that to go back that wasn't necessarily intuitive to me initially and then I select the date and then I save so that's how you do that okay um so this date time bottom sheet this is using a new bottom sheet that was introduced and so let's go to our second modal date time and bottom sheet with custom buttons so here I set my initial breakpoint, which is here, but then I'm able to pull it all the way up to 0.08. So I can drag that to pull it all the way up. Um, I was hoping that there was a way to click this thing at the top to make it come down. Maybe I missed it in the dock, but I think that would be a nice touch. But for right now, you can just drag it down to the bottom. Let's bring our bottom sheet back up. You get the same behavior. You can save the date. Um, and so that's the bottom sheet. And then my last example, we scroll down and we're just going to do just a simple one that just presents the date time. I mean, just the time. So you can see this presentation value that you have here. It's used to control whether or not you're going to display the date time or the time or just the date. So right now I have it set to time. So when I open my time bottom sheet, I just get my time. I think I can change this to date. And then when I open up my bottom sheet, See, I'm getting my whole, I'm getting the whole calendar here. And then the full one is the date time. And when you select that, that gives you everything. Uh, where is my date time? I, did I read the documentation correctly? Hold on, let me see. ABC date time picker presentation. Customizing date and time presentation. Um, oh, it's so it's time, date, presentation, time, date. We showed a time picker first, so you can just change these values here. Well, I thought we would get it like so. I can set this to time, date, and if we cancel and then. We get to see we get the time bet, and also I'm getting this error sometimes. I don't know if it's just a refresh error uh, because of the way that I'm working, but yeah, see how it, it happens like that sometimes, and then I have to do a hard refresh. Time bottom sheet. 
See, and then you get the date time, or you can switch these around to time. Let's cancel, refresh this guy again. And then you see we get that at the bottom, and then I cancel again. Like I said, this is just gonna be a quick video to walk through this. I think I've covered the important stuff. Um, the other thing to remember, like I said, is that, so if we notice my on change event here, if I open this up, let's use the other one. If I open this one up and I hit, so let's select the time so we see we have a value. Now I open up my modal again and I hit reset. Um, the reset is actually clearing the value because where in my code do I tell it to reset it? Um, let's, where's my function? My functions are down here. So on reset, I'm telling it to clear my result value, but the thing that you'll notice is that the only time, the only time the on change is actually, like the on change is not being triggered at this point. The only time the on change gets triggered, where's my on change, is when you actually fire the confirm. And we can check that because if I spread this out, and open up my developer tools. Um, and we look, if we clear all this out, you can see as I'm changing this, there's no on change event being fired. The on change event gets fired on the save. And let's use another one. Uh, so you can see, let's change this to save, on change gets fired. And then even when you're using because um, this is the custom buttons. If I cancel this, hmm, interesting. Those are custom. Where's my own buttons? Uh, yeah, this, these are these are default. These are the default buttons you get. So here's that weird error of it not refreshing. See, I don't know what is causing that behavior. Let's see, fail to go, I thought I put ion call in. I don't think that's what's causing it, but let's put it back in and see. Let's put our column, ion column in. Ion column, let's try again. See, I don't know what's causing this behavior, but it happens every now and then. Maybe I should log a bug but I can't figure out how to consistently get it. I can't figure out how to consistently get it to happen. And I don't like to log bugs unless I can get consistent behavior. See, that one works. But this one is not consistently working. Done. Yeah, um, but the point that I was trying to show here is you can see that even when I hit the cancel, I don't get my change event. You don't get the change event until you actually hit the done and then your change event is fired. Um, so like I said, I just quickly wanted to kind of walk through and also give you the source code for a full sample project to kind of play with this functionality. Well, let me do the last thing, which is to kind of um, show you it running on the phone. So this is um, deployed with capacitor, running on device, written in view, um, just showing you the same functionality here. I am seeing a couple of errors too here because you can see how that my AM PM is not, you don't get the same UI here. Um, also, you're not getting, I don't know if this is just because I'm on in the simulator, but I'm not able to get my click events to adjust my time here. Let's um, try another one. Yeah, you see I'm getting this weird behavior, but it's, it's checking, it's getting the clicks for the date, because if I can save, you can see it's changing that. But for some reason, I'm not getting the UI changes appropriate for um, changing my time. And I don't know if, like I said, if that's because I am uh, running in my simulator. I'll have to try that on, on, my, on my phone and get back to you. But, um, you know, despite kind of some of the struggles I ran into here in the video, I hope that you found this uh, helpful. Um, take the source code, kind of play with it yourself, and uh, give me some feedback on what your thoughts are. Thanks, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.